More breaking news coming in. Sources in the Ministry of Home Affairs have told headlines today that the Tamil Nadu government's decision to free Rajiv Gandhi's killers was a unilateral one. Sources adding that they were not kept in the loop about the state government's decision. Kamaljit Sandhu, our correspondent, now joining us on the phone line. Kamal, are the Home Ministry saying that they should have been approached by the state government through the governor? The ministry claiming it hasn't really received any letter or message from the Jailalitha government so far. Well, definitely, Ministry of Home Affairs clearly saying that uh, they've only seen it through the media reports that the ministry, uh, that, that the government of Anar is uh, planning to have uh, clemency for these uh, uh, for these killer, for, for Rajiv Gandhi's killers. In that sense, they say that, that there is a procedure, there is a standard operating procedure for everything like this, uh, that they need to be approached through the governor. Uh, they have not received any communication either from the governor or from the state government itself. But remember, this is a politics of one upmanship between the DMK and the AI DMK. Uh, clearly, there is a lot of politics behind it. A uh, couple civil in a short while ago also uh, slashing out and, 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 and attacking BJP, saying uh, they're the ones who raised the bogey about uh, hanging of Kassab and Abdul Ghul and why did they not release about Rajiv Gandhi's killers. Uh, in, uh, in the politics of it, uh, it's also the issue in Tamil Nadu. In that sense, uh, both DMK and AIDMK want to have a credit uh, in, in the clemency which has been granted. And AIDMK going further and saying uh, that these Rajiv Gandhi killers should be freed, especially Nalini. In that sense, uh, there seems to be a lot of politics behind it. Will they go through the formal procedure and approach Ministry of Home Affairs to the governor? That needs to be seen. Absolutely. And uh, we also understand that uh, Jail Alita has said that she will, she will push for the release even if the centre does not agree to it. Well, uh, the state government cannot take a unilateral decision. That is what our sources are clearly indicating. Absolutely. So they'll have to go by state-by-state -state procedure, a step-by-step -step procedure. In that sense, it's going to be extremely crucial. Uh, we've seen state governments earlier not being one along with the, uh, uh, with the centre. But there are certain issues, uh, especially where the centre overrules the state. And this is one of them. And remember, this petition is still with the Supreme Court. Uh, they are the ones who actually granted that sort of clemency and turned that uh, death sentence into life. Uh, so in that sense, if we really have a look, uh, the procedures will have to go through. Uh, the state government will have to finally send that particular report to Ministry of Home Affairs and the centre would take a final decision on it.